All right, let's get into it. The second catch is something that many of us overlook. And in this journey of self-development, you'll find that this is so good for you. You see, it's no joke when I say that it's usually more about us than the person that we're accusing of doing something to us. Consider this. Do you know that you cannot really accuse someone of something if you are doing the same thing to them? Because once you accuse them, they're going to throw it back to you, but you also do so and so. You know what I mean? So what it means is that you must always be reflective of your own treatment of them, which takes us back to the fundamental principle of how we're supposed to conduct ourselves as human beings, which says to love your neighbor as yourself. We must never forget this. This is a line that we must apply in our lives in all that we do, and it will be well with us as far as our contribution. Because, and when I say this, I mean on both sides. So you are watching out that you are treating your neighbor the way that you want to be treated. And you hold them accountable to do the same to you. Remember, no fighting. So why shouldn't you be able to do it? Once you see that they're not treating you as they themselves would like to be treated, then you understand that something is wrong here. Maybe they're cuckoo. They don't understand how things are supposed to work. Or they are doing the wrong thing completely and you are not going to have it because it's going to continue. They're not going to change because that's what they know. So indeed, for people who believe in God, this is the second commandment. And let me tell you, even if you don't believe in God, this is a universal commandment. This is natural. This is the reason why we have the constitutions in every country. The law courts and the guidelines of society are all based on this all based on how the next person treats the next person. How do we think that we can relate with others if we flaunt this? <laughs> it's just not going to work. It's clear to you. I'm sure I don't even need to dwell long on this one. So you must always examine your character and the way that you're treating other people. And based on that, then you can always bring up whatever needs to be dealt with. They can't fault you at all. You see? So you hold yourself accountable, hold yourself to higher standards. If you hold yourself to high standards, then you can, you're actually able to see clearer when someone is not up to standard. So it actually begins with us again. It, it's all, everything is part of us. That's why I said, when we make wrong choices, we will find that a lot of the time, it's because we didn't know ourselves. It's because we also didn't have high standards. Because once your standards are raised, you don't want anything that is vibrating as it, as it, at a lower standard. For ones of, I mean, I think you can understand this because this is common now. You understand that things are vibrations. If you're vibrating at this standard, it's going to be hard for you to be dealing with something that's vibrating at a lower standard. If something is vibrating at a higher standard, it's going to be hard for it to deal with you at your lower standard. So we are energy. Anyhow you want to look at it, we are energy. It takes us back again to the fundamental principle of how human relationships are supposed to work. Treat your neighbor, right? Don't see your neighbor as you will be done by love your neighbor as yourself be your brother's keeper how else can we say it so that's why you it says you cannot give what you don't have you can also not demand what you are not willing to give you can demand what you don't have so if you don't have it on what basis are you even going to know what it means like i just explained when someone else is misbehaving if you don't have that as your standards you're not even going to see it clearly you're not going to know so it takes that's why again it says do not be unequally yoked those are, these things are said to us in so many different ways but we don't understand because those pastors are busy with some other business they're not there to help a lot of them are there to help themselves. And that is why they don't focus on the things that actually make the words in that Bible transformational in the lives of the people that they're dealing with. It's a lot of lip service. I'll deal with that later. 
So the bottom line is, if you are not a good quality person, it's easy for you to fall into the hands of someone who is not of good quality. But if you are good quality, then you know what you're looking out for. And tell me, if you are good quality, why would you be comfortable with something that isn't good quality? It just won't work. It's like water and oil cannot mix. Water and oil can never mix. Because you'll be conscious of what good quality is. You'll be conscious of how it is to treat another human being with integrity. That is what delights your heart. So this other one is going to be repulsive to you. You're not going to, you're going to, I'm having none of this. So when I tell people who are close to me, you know, this is a reflection on you. That's why you hear people say that your relationship is a reflection on you. The way that you, the quality of your relationship is actually a reflection on you. I know that at this point, you may have refined yourself. You may have become good quality. But the thing is, at the time that you were creating this relationship, what you have now is a reflection of who you were when you created the relationship that you have now. Yes. Sometimes we get into relationships, even though we know that we shouldn't be in this relationship with this person, but we're doing it because of this. That it, it still boils down to it. It's coming from something inside us, which we know is the reason why we're doing this that we're not supposed to be doing. You see, there's no escape. It's, it's about us. It's about us. Somebody's going to talk about someone this someone i'm um, deceiving but we'll, we'll talk about that later we'll get to that so it's easy for us to spot when someone is not of high quality or good integrity if we ourselves and hold ourselves to higher standards so that's why we must constantly develop ourselves so now people can understand why when i say that we're crying victims sometimes it's because we haven't checked ourselves come to the end of this one now I think this is easy enough and I can just end this here. It's self-explanatory, right? Okay. Stay blessed and let's go talk about ourselves and how we may even get into these things in the first place. We need to now see how to make ourselves of higher standards. But let me ask you first, are you liking this series so far? Let me know. Share in the comments. Talk to me. Like this video with a thumbs up. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't and share the videos with your friends or people you know who you want to be consciously empowered for collective conscious empowerment. Let's go now and talk about you and me.